a little update. I've uh, had a bit more time this weekend, so I've been working on shielding the VFO and stabilising the frequency. As you can see, I'm getting pretty close. I've got the RIT here set to um, so the same value as, in theory, the key and the spot. And uh, we're sitting on a nice stable 793 hertz there. So if I um, if I key the radio, you'll see uh, I've got the volume turned down. Um, 828 there versus 793. So 30 or 40 hertz away from what I key is what I'm actually seeing on the meter, which is much closer than it was before. 790 there up to 825 so yeah 30 30 35 hertz difference there and there are some tolerances in the system to do with the way the transistor switches that might well explain that and actually i think within 30 hertz of what i expect to get is probably close enough i still have the spot going in the other direction so we're on 788 now if i hold on the spot we go down to 755 so actually uh, 30 hertz one way 30 hertz the other, which means that roughly I'm within 60 hertz of where I expect to be. Of course, the point is that it it has to be pretty stable, um, 786. So let me show you what I've done to achieve that. Uh, obviously, there are still more experiments to do. If I can get this into the view of the camera here. I've shielded the VFO. Um, I, took the, um, I took away some circuitry that was in the way, and I've made this uh, shield here. I've used some pass-through capacitors uh, to pass the, this is the voltage and this is the uh, RIT voltage control and the one that you might not be able to see here, there's, um, yeah, this is the uh, the RF going out. Um, obviously it needs a lid. I've got some copper tape which I'm going to put on there which probably will do the job. Um, rather than put a solid lid on, I can just put a piece of this sticky copper tape over or maybe I'll make a lid, I'm not sure, but... Um, just the first step towards a proper shielding of the VF4. What I did was this module here was um, was originally in the oscillator, and it's just the keying logic for the um, for the key, for the uh, Morse key. Um, the switching logic that switches on the transmitter, mutes the receiver, uh, does everything in a timed fashion. I don't know why I really put those on the oscillator board in the first place. They, did, they really had no business. What I wanted really wanted was a nice clean RIT control in there. And a volt going in and an RF going out. So I've I've optimized it so that only those three things um, are passing through. Um, I added another little daughter card here, which is just to drive the frequency counter. Increasingly, I'm not happy with this. I mean, it, it it's not very accurate. Um, it requires a lot of extra work to put in, and maybe I should have just gone with what I'm using at the moment was just an external connector for a for an external counter. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's um, it's a little bit neater in there now. I'm starting to tidy up the wiring a little bit. Uh, still a little bit of a rat's nest here and there, but I'm going to put some clips in and things and just rationalise where things go. But the, the point is that this is a nice clean interface to the oscillator here. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, that's what I've been up to this weekend. Um, quite pleased with that. I'll do some more investigations, but I think the radio is now operable uh, within reasonable parameters for me to use it and get the frequency that I expect when I transmit.